Hello, everybody. It is Daffy Duck 91, and we are on day six of the last stand, our permadeath, horde every night, vanilla. Playthrough, vanilla, vanilla settings, vanilla, everything. You like chocolate, but you're getting vanilla. Yeah, okay, so we did the last horde. <clears throat> we survived, obviously, because I'm still here. Uh, our base held up good. I spent the night getting iron and clay because I would very, very much like to build a workbench today and I need to make a hammer and a wrench unless I find one beforehand. The trader is not open yet. I wanna go and sell the trader a few things, get a tier two quest, and then maybe I'll go ahead and do the quest while we wait for the forge to kind of smelt everything that I threw in it this morning. As I wait for the trader to open, I'm just gonna bang down some trees because you can just never have too much wood. Oh, we got our first zombie of the morning. I always find the mornings after Horde are so relaxing because there doesn't seem to be a zombie that spawns in. It's kind of like the game takes a little bit to give you something to smack around. There you go. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Let's go in and see what Bob has for us today. Okay, what do you have for work? Oh yeah, tier three, slobbery McSlobbery. We're not going to do a power own, like a restore power because I don't want to die. It's a permadeath series. Let's do this one that's super close. Hardware store. Very nice. And I'm also going to sell you just whatever I had on my inventory to sell to you. I spent, obviously, the last little bit cutting down trees and renting cars. So we've got a bit of stuff on us. All right. Off to our very first tier two quest of our vanilla Board Every Night Permadeath series. All right. Get the quest started. I think I have a point from last night and I sort of want to put it into Hidden Strike just to make sneaking around a little bit more OP. Here, let me turn off my uh, light. I know it's a little dark, but we're just going to do some snucking. We're going to snuck around a little bit. Oh, I see a little twinkly toes. <sighs> Ooh. Oh shit, there were two of you. All right, I won't sneak you early and I'll just smack you in the face with my spiked club. Oh yeah, there is tons of resources here. I gotta dig all that out. This is gonna be just something. Um, I am gonna do this awful thing and actually scrap down all these potted plants. I know it's horrendous, but I want the clay. I don't wanna have to dig for it all the time. Oh, this is gonna cause me so much pain. 60 clay though, it's not too bad. I'll also grab that wood there later. Um, how do I want to go about this? Do I want to just like dig all this up right now? Uh, yeah, I'll do it super quick. Something sounds like it's trying to come at me. So we'll wait here, dig all the stuff up and smack a bitch when they get here. Oh, here we go. Good old Bob the Builder. Came on in through the side. Took him a while to find me. Good night, sir. Yeah, we're pretty much done. Well, not almost. Well, we're pretty much almost done digging in here. Okay, my light's back off, and I'm going to clear out the inside in here, and then we'll press to the back end of the building. I wonder how many more little sneaky shots I can get. Hello, Larry. Good night, Larry. All right, I got like one sneak shot in before I woke everything up, so that's, that's a great thing. Great job, Davy. Another Larry, and we got a uh, zombie gen over there. Ah! Oh! Ha! That was beautiful. You did a good uh, little fly there. One thing I do miss about modded playthroughs is the health bar. Oh yeah, we just found a wrench. Now I don't have to craft one. Yeah, it's the health bar because I feel like it gave you a little bit of hope. You know, you were grinding it out, you were killing zombies and you were smacking one again and again and you could actually see its health going down. Whereas in vanilla, you're just like, is it dead yet? Like, how long is this going to take? It just almost feels like it drags out just a little bit longer. Okay, I'm just dumping all of our stuff in there just so we're not encumbered. And I've got pretty well this entire section here all cleared out. Again, we're on our knees. Let's turn off our light. I wonder see how many sneak shots we can get in here. Maybe like a whole bunch. Just like an ass ton of the sneaky sneak. I ended up shutting that door, but this one is locked. I feel like I woke something up, though. So I'm just going to bang this out. I don't remember if there's a zombie in here or not. Hello? Zombie? In here? Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! Did I, I just woke up a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> They're probably all up on the roof trying to eat my asshole as we speak. 
All right, so I do hear them banging on the door. I'm gonna go ahead and wrench this vending machine though because I want any of the juicy steel. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello? No, you're out here. Oh, it's the lady of the night. She's banging on the railing. Ma'am, I was just wrenching. I needed steel, okay? No need to stress your pretty little head about it. Now I woke up all your friends, damn it. Okay, I think I've got the outside cleared up. Man, that, uh, there's a lot of stuff out here. Like, if you really wanted to take your time in POIs, you could be scrapping down tons of crap. And I'm just, like, digging and stuff. I haven't even done any serious amount of wrenching yet. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take, ah, like, ten seconds. Let's just go super quick. I want to get at least all the concrete that's around here. There's a bunch in that little chest over here. Or the, what is that? Transport vehicle? Is that what you call that? Yeah, look at all this. This is just like a ton of stuff. There's also a chest behind that uh, bunch of boxes over there. So let's uh, let's work our way through it. I, again, I hear somebody coming. I hear you. In our working stiff box, we have a level two axe that I'm going to promptly repair and sell. Or am I going to sell that? I'll just uh, maybe I'll, I won't repair it. I might just sell it. And look, a level five wrench. Holy smithereens, that's exciting. I wish I could find another claw hammer. If I can find a claw hammer, then I don't have to really use any of my forged iron to make one, only to kind of scrap it down and use it for my workbench. All right, we're going up on the roof. I'm gonna turn my headlight off again. There's gotta be a bird, there's always a bird. Sneaky little, oh you whore. I was supposed to be sneaking up on you, sir. Now you're coming at me. I wanted to get the bird. Done. Maybe there was no bird. There's always a damn bird. The one time there isn't one, I tell ya. All right, give me the end loot. Our very first tier two end loot and it's giving us, ooh, pipe baton. That sounds like it's gonna be better than our club. Uh, put your game, you can craft steel clubs. We've got a bunker buster mod, another bandage, some ammo. I am really excited about this though. Let me repair it, or can't I? What do I need? Oh, I need pipes. I can do that. In oh, this is just a pipe baton. What does it do? 16 and 16. But what happens if I take, I can't put that mod on it. All right, so really they do about the same. This one does better, actually. Ah, uh, I got all excited for nothing. Okay, in all these boxes, we've got lockpick and frames. I'm okay with that. More frames and acid. That's fine. Acid, military fiber, and some motor tool parts. Motor tool parts and cement. I mean, uh, I guess that's fine. All right, we are done our first quest. God, I feel like a champion. God damn royalty over here. Let's get home. Uh, actually, let's return the quest to Bob. Where am I going? Return the quest to Bob and then go home and unload and maybe take a peek at stuff that might need to be done for Horde tonight. I scrapped down a few things. I'm just gonna drink this water and then we can grab these frames. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got everything. We are substantially encumbered. I'm gonna mark this off as done on the map. Oh yeah, look at us champions man okay let's head back to bob super quick return the quest and then go home bob what do you have for me day. of Thank course you have an ak you. really i'm gonna actually oh i can't really sell this to you right now can i damn it i was gonna sell that super quick here let me drop this uh yeah let me drop the coffee i don't want the ak because i have a nicer one i think i have a nicer one do i have a nicer one I'm gonna grab the antibiotics just in case. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell him anything in here I was planning on selling him. Well, let's also snag another I tier two quest. I don't know if we'll be doing that today. Like I, I said, let's go home. I want to make sure, oh my God, don't I have a bicycle? Don't, I've been, I've been walking around on my legs and I'm pretty sure I have a bicycle at home. I laid it on the roof before Horde so that we wouldn't you know, have it destroyed by, wow, wow, that is a classic, yeah, there it is, bicycle, right there, see, classic noob genosis moment right there, guys, yep, super classy, Daffy, wow, <laughs> 
Oh, shit. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's dump everything. Oh, wait, before we do anything. Oh, I knew that would run out of wood. I had this, like, feeling in my gut as we were, you know, working it that this would have no wood in it and it wouldn't be smelting what it's supposed to be smelting and I would just have to suffer. All right, we'll put more iron in. Oh, yeah, 97 forged iron. Beautiful. All right, let me get all of my stuff unloaded and then we'll look at doing a bit of crafting and the horde bases. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and craft a level three claw hammer. I will keep that one myself and we will use the level two claw hammer that we've got. And we're also going to need for a workbench, uh, iron we have, mechanical parts and wood. So let's grab the mechanical parts. Is that enough? Bam! Oh yeah. I am, uh, I'm feeling super slobbery. Every time I craft something, I feel like a damn champion because I don't normally craft things. Uh, I'm also going to craft a butt ton of duct tape so that we can make a pick and a shovel. And then we will be, we will be pretty impressive. We'll have iron tools for everything. We will have a friggin' workbench and majiggers. Yeah, we're doing good. It's going to be great. Okay, so the base held up pretty good. Oh, need iron. It held up pretty good last night. I had one thing lost. You know what I might do? I might not even bother repairing that and just move on to these ones here. Mind you, I should grab some iron just in case. A suggestion you guys made is to get rid of this underneath. There seems to be like a cobblestone and apparently that's not safe and I should be doing this and we're gonna upgrade it all the way to concrete once we get that opportunity. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today, um, but just because I don't have cement and I'm a little bit, I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous, slightly nervous about accidentally knocking one of these down. Well, we'll see. Let me go grab some cobblestone. At least I could probably get it upgraded to that. Okay, so this is concrete already. We'll leave that alone. These are all upgraded to at least cobblestone, so we're feeling a little bit more safe. I could also take this down and almost build a ramp inward so that it's a bit stronger. I don't know if that really is gonna do anything for the pathing or if it's just gonna make it look prettier. Okay, so we've got a little ramp going in. It definitely looks a bit cleaner. Now I got to thinking, okay, while I was making my ramp. I do eventually want to upgrade this and maybe even possibly use this as a horde base eventually. But, okay, this is giving zombies access to come in here and jump down here and then get me. So I don't know. They haven't done that yet. They still rather go through the front entrance. But I'm worried that I'm going to have to either not use that or I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and fill in my getaway hole. Like this is my get out of jail free hole if the base behind me doesn't work. Uh, shit, so I have to think about that. Like I don't know what is the best thing. I was going to do today, whoop, right over here and get rid of these half blocks here. And I was going to kind of uh, put the pole all the way this way to path them there and then build almost like a hatch-esque thing inside. So basically they would come here, we'd have a cock knocker banging them right off just to help slow them down a little bit. And then they get in here, there would be hatches and I would be doing up here what I plan on doing down there. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think the zombies, if I'm down in our hatch base on this section over here, right? Do you think the zombies will try to path up through here, come over this way and go down into my get out of jail free card hidey hole thing? Because I have this here as a way if they do breach me when I'm down under, if you know what I mean, <laughs> that I have a way to get out. That's kind of what this is. See? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Otherwise, I think this is good enough for tonight's hoard. There was a lot of great suggestions about um, putting down spikes. And I do love that idea. Like, the only thing I'm struggling with it is the fact that they're labor intensive. Making a lot of spikes costs a lot of wood. Cutting down the wood costs a lot of time. So that's kind of the only thing making me not want to do that is like I said, just the sheer amount of time it's going to take. Um, I'm going to go ahead. What do I need? A shovel and I need a pick. Crafting the iron shovel on my person. And can I craft the axe? 
in here. What do I need? Iron pickaxe. Oh, do I not have enough forged iron? There we go. Hold on. Yeah, and I'll craft that one in there. And then they're like doing it twice as fast. Because you know me. I like to uh, <laughs> do it twice as fast. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit. Let's upgrade this to at least wood and we'll go from there. I don't know if I want to do cobblestone. Not yet, because I'm not really sure my end game with this other section of the base here. All right, it's getting close to horde time. I'm going to, what, grab all my weapons, grab all my ammo, make sure that they're all ready to rumble. I don't need my hammer right now. Grab my shotgun. Um, another thing I kind of want to do, ooh, how are we doing on stuff? We're good, we're good, this is fine. Uh, I need iron, but I really don't wanna go digging in my mine. So I wonder what I could like wrench to give me iron. Just taking a second and throwing some mods on some stuff. Um, this hunter mod would do really well on my bow, but apparently I can put it on anything, um, which is kind of handy, I guess. I'll just throw it there to do increased damage. Can I put anything on this bad boy? All right, uh, which one do I want? Bipod mod or muzzle brake mod? Diverts the propellant gases to produce recoil. Increases accuracy and handling when aiming. Okay, I'll do the accuracy because that one makes just a little bit more sense to me. How are we doing on time here, guys? Woo, we're getting there. Um, and now can I put anything on my clothing? Cooling mesh mod. Advanced muffler. Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good. Nothing looks too trashed in my armor, if you can call that armor. All right, I am raring to go. I've got... I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm just going to make sure all my weapons are reloaded. I will be using the 762 as much as possible. I feel like that really helped last time. Like we got a lot of the zombies killed effortlessly. All right, guys, we are here. We are ready. We've got the AK. We are going to focus on all them headshots. Let's do a quick. What is it here? Here we go. Level 14, game stage 22, 207, 208 enemy kills. Man, every time I miss, every goddamn time, I'm all stressed out. And keep reloading just in case. Oh God, they sound like they're coming the wrong way. Oh God, please, please come through the front door. Oh, I think they're dying on the spikes outside. Are they like attracted to spikes or something? Because, I mean, they're trying to beat on the wall, I assume, to get into me. But it seems silly. I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, it's sounding a little bit quiet. How am I 10 encumbered? Sweet Jesus, how much crap do I have on me? It's just crazy town. Um, it sounds okay. I hear one thing banging, which makes me wonder if there's just one zombie outside and I'm a little bit nervous to go look. Hold on. Ooh, a mining helmet. Uh, I guess I'll just sell that. I'm kind of been starving, so I'm just eating as much canned shit as I can. And some shotgun shells. Should I go outside? Hold on. 
All right, there she is. One lady. I can take on one lady, can't I? Just one darling deer. Dead. Is that it? Any more? Beautiful. Yeah, they, uh, they're definitely attracted to the spikes. I don't know if they go to them because they want to beat on the wall or if they go to them because they're like, hmm, I just have to throw myself against these spikes. It just feels so good. That must be what they're doing. These spikes seem okay, though. Maybe I will spend the night. Maybe we should make some more spikes. How much wood do we have on this? N not very much. Yeah, let's make some more spikes over the night. I know I could use forged iron and make forged or metal spikes, which would be less labor intensive under repairing them. But this being said, you can repair wood ones. You just got to give them a little click. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. We've survived up to the day six horde. If you liked the video, give it a big fat like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the infamous day seven and see if we can meet our next mini goal for this series. Mm -hmm.